Tampa Bay, Florida's crown jewel along the Gulf of Mexico. Today, I'm gonna take you guys on a journey exploring some of the best vegan food the Tampa Bay area has to offer. So without wasting any more time, stay tuned and let's get into it. First spot up is Black Radish Grocer, a cozy neighborhood grocery store that has a massive array of vegan and plant-based delicacies to satisfy any and every craving imaginable. Located in the back of the store is Black Radish's very own sandwich shop, making veganized versions of some of the best sandwiches in the city. Tampa is well known around the world for the Cuban sandwich and Black Radish makes their very own variation along with a wide variety of other delicious sandwiches. I ordered both the Havana Honey and the Monte Cristo and both could easily hold their weight right along the world famous sandwiches Tampa is known for. Located in North Tampa right off Nebraska Avenue is the comfort food go-to known as Vegan International Company. You instantly know this place is good thanks to the endless amount of awards and articles lining the walls of the dining room. Plus, the owner Nick's hospitality and smile also confirms just how great this place truly is. They have a huge diverse menu, so I left it up to Nick to choose the dishes he thought epitomized just how great this place is. The Beyond Tender box was the perfect comfort food and the house-made spicy sauce is the perfect accompaniment to the tenders and mac and cheese. The pizza empanada was like an elevated version of a Hot Pocket. And the collard greens tasted just like someone's auntie was back there chefing them up. Truly amazing flavors. All in all, this place was wonderful. In the Seminole Heights neighborhood of Tampa is Three Dot Dash. Now, quick disclaimer, Three Dot Dash is actually located side by side in the Jug and Bottle, a decently large sized wine, beer, and soft drink shop with beverages from all over the world. They also have several local options available on tap as well. They really have it all here. Shifting our focus back to Three Dot Dash, this place is making some of the best burgers and sandwiches in the city. There's no such thing as a bad option here, so order what looks or sounds great, grab a cold beverage, and wait to be amazed by some really great food. I personally ordered the Rodeo Buster, a play on a rodeo burger. Just look at the cross section of this. Some art doesn't even look this complex and beautifully assembled. We also ordered the delicious Southern chicken sandwich. Now, this is my cousin and her husband, and they are truly experts when it comes to food and identifying good burgers and sandwiches. So trust me when I say this, they were really impressed. Okay, maybe not actual experts, but they're definitely good at identifying good food. And Three Dot Dash definitely impressed them. I was told to come back and try the patty melt, so I did, and trust me guys, that was really bomb as well. The historic Ybor City is a great opportunity to immerse yourselves into the real history of Tampa. On top of being the nightlife hub in the Tampa Bay area, Ybor is also known for having some of the best food in Tampa. And proof of that bold statement can be found right here on the corner of 7th Avenue in Nebraska at La Setima Club. Now I'm going to go out on the limb and say that this place is one of the best vegan restaurants I've ever been to in the world. Everything about this place is truly extraordinary. From the decor to the wide array of organic wine, this place does a great job of wrapping you in its arms and serenading you by way of liquid and edible libations. Whatever you do, make sure you order the appetizers. All of them. Trust me, the sliders are a whole lot of fun with a ton of great flavor. But the best starter, in my opinion, are the fried green tomatoes a dish not regularly found on most vegan menus. So we couldn't pass it up, and they certainly did not disappoint. We ended up coming back a second time and ordering the mascot, which is easily one of the greatest meals I've ever had in my life. The sweet potato grits are the perfect accompaniment to the real star of the show, which are the king oyster mushrooms. Give these to any random person on the street, and they would assume that they actually originated from the sea. Don't sleep on this dish. It's a real game changer. The final thing we ordered were these boudin egg rolls, which really rounded out this awesome culinary experience. Crispy, spicy, a great side dip, and the perfect serving size to ease you into that food coma real nice and slow. 
Over in Oldsmar is the raw vegan hub called Rockstar Cafe. I was invited and joined by my new great friend and one of the greatest minds in the world of natural health named Tori or Detox Tori on Instagram and YouTube. Please check her out. She's one of the greatest people I've ever met in my life. Now I'm going to shut up and let her explain exactly what we had. Take it away, Tori. So I'm here with Trey and I took him to one of my favorite vegan spots in Oldsmar, Florida. And this is one of the go-to spots. We're pretty much going to do an entire spread of food today, but I just want to show you what we've got here. So my favorite is this raw Fredo. It's Alfredo sauce made with cashew and we have zucchini noodles and kelp noodles. That's a go-to. And then these Thai tacos where they use walnut meat mixed with sesame to get that Asian flavor. And it's fire. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tori. The food here is unbelievable. And being the good influence that Tori is, she suggested we get this raw pumpkin cheesecake for dessert and it was arguably one of the greatest pieces of cheesecake I've ever had in my life. Like, I think about it too many times during the day. It's so, so, so good. Over on Southdale Mabry is the popular pizza joint known as Flourish. They really take great pride in making incredible pizzas here. At first glance, you would think this place is just one restaurant in a chain of over 200 locations around the world, especially based off the visually appealing interior design concept. But trust me, the quality of the ingredients and overall pizza aesthetic are enough to make any unassuming customer think this place is a chain. But mark my words, give it time, and I truly believe Flourish will exist all over the United States of America. I decided to order a custom pizza with all of my favorite ingredients. The house-made cashew cheese is the real game changer here, though. Whatever you do, do not miss out on this pizza enhancer. Pizza is really one thing that takes years of experience to master, but Flourish has only been in business since the beginning of 2022, which begs the question, how has this vegan pizzeria staked its claim as being one of the top pizza shops in Tampa? The answer is real simple. They really value the art of pizza making. From the ingredients to the baking process, everything about the pizza here is intentional. And people around Tampa Bay love that. Located just a couple of blocks away is one of the best bakeries in the country called Hail Life Bakery. The sweet smell of baked goods that hits you in the face immediately lets you know that you're in for a great time here. They even give out free samples of a number of their great menu items. The donuts are by far the most popular item here though. And for good reason, they are diverse and flavorful. The donuts are cake based, which usually aren't my first choice of donuts, but these definitely turn me into a believer. A great balance of sweetness and soft pillowy texture made this one of the best donut eating experiences I've ever had in the state of Florida. So this place definitely gets my seal of approval. Heading deeper into South Tampa is We Vegan Cafe. And as the name suggests, it is a quaint cafe with a really chill and relaxing atmosphere. The baked goods are plentiful, but do be careful. You might just be tempted to order them all. And while the sweets are great here, the food is equally impressive and wonderful. And they have plenty of really solid options. My son Golden was really eyeballing the freshly squeezed lemonade, and he gave it his seal of approval, as you can see here. We then ordered the popular breakfast burrito and enjoyed every second of eating it. We Vegan is definitely a must eat spot here in Tampa Bay. Located up in North Tampa is Revelations Cafe. Funny story about this place. When I was a kid in the 90s, this place used to be a blockbuster, believe it or not. It now, however, serves a much more important purpose. They make some of the best food around, and I personally am in love with their breakfast. The French toast is some of the best I've ever had in my life. The pieces of French toast have an almost pillowy softness to them and some really great sweet cinnamony flavors. This is the type of meal that makes breakfast my favorite meal of the day. They also make a really solid breakfast scramble. Now, 
One thing to note about Revelations Cafe is they do serve non-vegan food as well. Have peace of mind knowing that this place is great at delineating the differences between vegan food and non-vegan food. So come with an open mind and an open stomach, and I promise you, you will leave here feeling satisfied. Heading over to Brandon and sticking with the breakfast theme brings us to Vine Vegan. Brandon doesn't have the most vegan options, so it's really nice to have a large centralized location with a diverse menu like this. And you gotta love the fact that breakfast is served all day long. And when the pancakes are this good, this is a great thing for the people of Tampa Bay because you can get them anytime you want. The pancakes are indescribably good. So I'm just gonna leave it up to you guys to channel the euphoria I experienced eating these things. They were so, so bomb. Now, I was told by the team over at Black Radish Grocer that Dub Meetup would be setting up shop at the grocery store near Ebor. So I raced over with my camera to see what they had and I ordered the jerk pasta. I sadly deleted all of the footage of me eating it, but trust me, this pasta was amazing. Heading back over to Ebor is Nana's Ebor, which is a really cool concept thanks in part to their diverse rotating weekly menu. The restaurant itself also has an incredible energy presence in it. I mean, look at how psyched Golden is to eat here. He was trying to see them cook the food himself. On this particular day, they were serving an awesome platter of tacos, rice and beans, and leafy greens. These tacos were insanely good. The tacos themselves were loaded with tons of veggies and I have never had tacos quite like these. They were very unique, but packed loads of great flavor. So I invite you to come here any day of the week and try one of their many great dishes. True Vegan Creamery is a welcome addition to the vegan plant-based scene here in Tampa. And they are currently Tampa's only 100% vegan ice cream shop. They also have a flawless five-star rating on Google. All of the ice cream has a coconut base and they also make shakes and slushies. They also feature special menu items such as the strawberry cheesecake concoction. I am a sucker for strawberry cheesecake ice cream and this definitely did not disappoint. The cheesecake pieces themselves were nice and sweet and the strawberry provided a great amount of sweetness, tartness, and really helped to balance out the sweetness of the coconut based ice cream itself. Next spot up is Four Rivers Smokehouse. And the only reason you need to come here is for the amazing vegan burnt ends. Yes, you're hearing that correct, vegan burnt ends. Quick life hack for you guys, make sure you order either the half pound or the pound and they will actually give you more pieces of burnt ends than they would if you were to order their platter. They have amazing texture and they are packed with loads of great smoky barbecue flavor. Finally making it over the bridge to St. Pete, the first place we hit was House of Vegano, Tampa Bay's only 100% vegan sushi restaurant. Now I wanna start off by saying that this restaurant is gorgeous. Every inch of this place is stunning. Now let's talk about the sushi. The rolls are literal masterpieces and works of art, literal culinary perfection. I wanted to order everything possible, but Golden and I could only handle so much. One great thing about the rolls here at House of Vegano is while they look impressive and beautiful and stunning, the taste really matches the appearance. St. Pete is super lucky to have this place within its city limits. And I don't see them going anywhere for a long time because from what I hear, people from all over the United States are coming here to try out the amazing sushi that this place has to offer. Now, one block away from House of Vegano is Good Intentions, Tampa Bay's first all vegan owned and operated full service bar and restaurant. I was joined by local podcaster and foodie herself, Alexis, who had to order this tropical cocktail here called Saturn. And since we arrived as early as possible, we decided to take advantage of brunch. Alexis ordered this huge breakfast platter consisting of all the breakfast usual suspects. Pancakes, just egg, sausage, potatoes, and cheesy grits. And Alexis was really sold on everything that she tasted. Like she really, really enjoyed herself here at Good Intentions and promised me that she would come back in the future. On the other hand, I ordered the crab omelet, which completely blew my mind. 
the crab tasted exactly how I remembered real crab tasting when I was younger. And the entire omelet itself had loads of great flavor throughout. This place is incredible. Literally right next door was Na Dogs, a 100% hot dog stand making the best hot dogs in the Tampa Bay area. The menu features a wide variety of hot dog variants, but the two things I loved the most about this place were the hospitality and the simplicity. And of course, and of course, the hot dogs were delicious as well. Just down the way in Gulfport is the popular eatery Golden Dinosaurs. Golden Dinosaurs is the epitome of a quirky, no frills comfort food haven. They have an extensive menu ranging from Rubens to Tarpon Spring style Greek salads. But I was told that the po' boy was indeed their crowd favorite. So I ordered it and was not disappointed. It is quite large, so be prepared to have some leftovers for yourself or bring somebody that you really like and share it with them. All in all, Golden Dinosaurs definitely lived up to the hype that this place receives. Heading back into the heart of St. Pete is Cider Press, a down-home gastropub making a wide variety of comfort food to satisfy all tastes and palates out there. We started off with the Bang Bang Shrimp, which both Golden and I really enjoyed, but the real deal was definitely the eggplant parmesan. Besides being visually stunning, it also tasted exquisite. I kept seeing plates of the eggplant parmesan flying out of the kitchen to nearly every patron in the restaurant, so I knew it just had to be great. And it really was. And for dessert, I ordered Golden and I this delicious warm apple crisp, which had great texture and great flavor. Sticking with the sweet theme, we headed over to the heart of Central Avenue to check out Plant Love Ice Cream. The vibe of this place is incredibly warm and relaxing, creating the perfect environment to indulge in some of the best ice cream you'll ever eat. And I'm not kidding, this place is incredible. Golden and I decided to get the five scoop sampler because it all just looks so wonderful. The flavors we ordered included caramel macchiato, toasted coconut, orange dream, Snickers and cookie butter. Plot twist, Golden loved them all equally, and so did I. Do not, I repeat, do not skip over this place when you find yourself in St. Pete, Pinellas County, the Tampa Bay area, Florida in general. This place is wonderful. And that's it, guys. That's the Tampa vegan food scene. Now, there are so many restaurants that we did not get a chance to visit. And I do want to give great praise to every single vegan and plant-based restaurant in this city. I do believe that the vegan scene here in Tampa is continuing to grow exponentially. And not only here in Tampa, but throughout Central, South Florida, and North Florida, believe it or not, as well. It's really great to see. But you get the picture. Tampa Bay is a highly underrated market for vegan food. So on behalf of the Tampa Bay area, come and explore all of the amazing food our little corner of the world has to offer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.